creating a layered artwork after learning about the artist Julie Moretu. For the first part of this lesson, you will need photographs and images, vellum paper, 2H pencils, eraser, and scotch tape. Before you begin, you should choose and select images that have something in common with each other. Once you have several images that make sense together, begin to trace some or all of the picture. You can also shift the vellum in a different direction to create a repetition. As you're working, try putting a white piece of paper under your vellum so you can see your work a little bit better. You can use the other side of a photograph for this. Many of these artworks will get framed for the art show. So try not to put anything super important on the very edges of the vellum because it will get cropped off by the frame. Continue building up layers by adding another photograph underneath. As I'm lining this up, I noticed that the river looks similar to the edge of the building, so I pushed them a little closer together. Again, place a white paper under the vellum so you can see your progress. For this third image, I thought that the tower on the right matched up well with the curling river. For this last image, I thought that the columns looked right rising from behind the ruins of the other wall. I am building up a lot of visual information. I'm just going to add a little bit more. You may have some areas that look too jumbled. If so, try using an eraser. Just use it carefully so the paper doesn't rip or bend. Now that I'm finished tracing different layers, I may decide to add in my own drawing. Here, I am taking this river and extending it. Notice how I made the top of the wall and the river match up perfectly. Keep looking around your image for things to join or connect, almost like puzzle pieces. You may need to erase more things, and you can always add in your own drawings, textures, and patterns. When you're finished working on the vellum, we can start to create a sublayer under the vellum to add color. First, look through the construction paper and pick out a color to put underneath of your vellum. The vellum is translucent, which means even a dark color underneath gets a little bit lighter because only some of the light comes through. I chose white for my background. To attach the construction paper to the vellum, turn both pieces upside down and get them centered. Leave a little space at the top so you can create a hinge using small pieces of tape. It's difficult to see on film, so I drew this little diagram. The red indicates where to put scotch tape. Because I only taped one side, when I turn it over, I can lift the vellum over and over again, and it will fall in the same spot every time. This allows me to work underneath of it, which is important. To push the image further, look for part two of this video.